Hey you guys, what's up? What's going on? Today's video is going to be a full face of throwback products. I'm really excited about this. I also sent out a poll on my Instagram stories. If you're not already, make sure you go and follow me over on Instagram. That way you don't miss out on any of the polls and fun stuff that I do over there. You guys did influence my product choices for the day. So um, I'm excited to show you guys what I found in my collection, what you guys wanted to see for this video. I love how the look turned out. It is so fall. Anyway, if this is the first time you're on my channel, what's up and welcome. My name is Kate and I would love to have you guys subscribe to my channel. Click the button up here. If you are a fan of using old products and digging through our makeup collection and using what we have, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up so I know and I can do more videos like this. And that's all I wanted to say, so let's just go ahead and get into the video. All right, you guys, I'm excited. We're using some old stuff today, not like nasty old, but like throwback old. For my face primer, I've got a couple things. This one has been repackaged. This one, uh, I think is still the same packaging. These were two that I used to love. I had you guys vote on a few products on my Instagram. So if you're not following me, make sure you follow so you can participate next time. So first, my skin is like, mm, it's driving me crazy lately. I'm going to first use some of the hydrating stuff. I'm like this weird oily dry combo kind of mess right now that's just really not fun. Freckles are out to play today. Who is ready for fall? Oh my gosh, I am so ready. So we've got this on. Now I'm gonna do this for some pore blurring. So I'm gonna use just a little bit to fill some pores here. I don't really have huge pores, um, but kind of right here is where I usually focus this stuff. I also like a secret tip, which I've told you guys this a few random times. I love putting pore filling stuff right here where I would apply my highlight. It makes your highlight go on so freaking smooth. All right, now on to the fun stuff. I have most of the stuff here already on my makeup table. I am gonna like double check because a couple of the things you guys were voting on was kind of like flipping back and forth. The palette and the foundation had been kind of close. So I'm just gonna take the majority while I'm sitting down here to film. As of now, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar is winning. And then for highlighter, we're gonna go with Champagne Pop. Bronzer, we're gonna go with the Butter Bronzer. Blush, looks like we're gonna go with Melba. Concealer, Urban Decay Naked Skin. And foundation, we're gonna go with Double Wear. We are going to go in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This has always been a favorite of mine. This has been one of my tried and true. I have a couple colors here. I don't know which one I'm gonna be. I might even just mix them. Um, I have the 1W, that's my fair shade, and the 3W is my self-tan shade. My tan isn't super fresh, so I might end up just mixing these together. So we're gonna mix a little of the 3W to go with it. I'm going to dig this brush down in there because I am running low. I wouldn't normally put it on like this, but since I already dirtied this brush, I was like, you know what? We're gonna just do it this way. So I am going to try to do kind of like a fall look. I'm gonna be honest, I have not even opened the chocolate bar palette in I don't even know how long. I'm really excited to be kind of like diving back into some old products. I just feel like kind of everybody talking about all the new launches and people just getting like really bombarded and overwhelmed with things really made me wanna like well, and you guys' comments as well. Really made me want to go back and use a lot more of, you know, just what I have in my collection. Because at this point, I feel like a lot of these things, like there was a time when a collection would come out and everyone would like buy it, you know, of course, if they could. So I feel like there's a lot of products, like the ones that I'm using today, people have in their collection, but they're like, ugh, I don't wanna use it. It's not new and exciting. And so I'm kind of wanting to bring the excitement back to products that we used to use all the time and absolutely love. For concealer, you guys wanted to see me use the Urban Decay Naked Skin. Woo, we are gonna be highlighted today, let me tell you. And I'm not even mad at it. I'm gonna go and blend that in. This was another one that I really loved because it covered a lot, but it still was super light. So it's not covering as much as I remember. What I have been using is the Too Faced born this way and back when I was using the Urban Decay it was kind of like before 
the concealers started getting like so full coverage. Unfortunately, I kind of remembered liking this better back in the day than I do right now. Because I don't know if you guys can tell, you can still see, a, I mean, and it's not major, but like as a makeup connoisseur, <laughs> I just feel like um, I can see a little bit of that like kind of purple discoloration here more than um, I would normally be able to see it with some of my other concealers. I didn't have you guys vote on this one just because I didn't have a lot to choose from that was older because I just have gone through it. But for my setting powder, I'm gonna use the OG Laura Mercier setting powder. And I mean, I guess I kind of bake, but also kind of not really. I use my beauty blender to set it, but I also just kind of push it in. I don't like to put so much powder underneath my eyes because I do have these lines. And I feel like sometimes if I get too much powder under my eyes, it just does not look cute. And also, I'm just do the chin real quick. Okay, I didn't really have a throwback product for brows. I just kind of have what I've been using, which is the Precisely My Brow and then the Milk Makeup Kush Brow Setter. So I'm gonna just jump off camera and do this really quickly. I think I am going to film an updated eyebrow routine. So I'm gonna jump off camera and do these. I'll have that posted sometime within the next week or two. I'll be right back. We are going to do our eyes now. I'm really excited you guys to use this palette again. Here is the OG chocolate bar. I just feel very inspired. It still smells good and everything. I'm gonna take this color for my transition, a Morphe M502. This is my favorite crease brush. Kind of feather it up and out. I really, again, don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Maybe some kind of like cute center not like center. Um, what am I trying to say? Inner corner cut crease thingy. Who else has this palette still? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know if you guys have any of the stuff that I'm actually using in today's video. Let me know in the comments. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Was it a favorite? Have you forgotten about it? Did you give it away? Do you still have it? I want to know. I think this was one of the first, maybe the first, uh, Too Faced palette that I ever bought. I was really excited about this one. I can't, I mean, I might have had one before, I just can't remember. But I do remember one of my first high-end products that I ever purchased was this Too Faced Glitter Liner, which I wish I still had that and hung on to it. Obviously, it would have been insanely dried out, but that was like one of my first uh, big makeup purchases that kind of like started the whole thing. I'll try and find a picture of what it looked like. It was like old school Too Faced. I'm gonna go right here for my next color. I wish it was possible for me to listen to music and talk to you guys at the same time I'm getting ready. Cause whenever I get ready off camera, like I always have my portable speaker in here playing music. I feel so weird. There's this awkward silence in here, in here right now, except for Daisy snoring, which you know, that's normal. Does anybody else have a, um, like a Frenchie or a bulldog or any other like pug squish face that just like snores? Daisy is such a huge snorer. Can you hear that? She's like passed out right next to me. So cute. You know what's crazy? I can still see the pressing on these two shadows. I literally haven't even swatched or used these. So we're gonna do that. Even though this has been sitting in my collection forever. Pretty colors. I, again, I've told you guys this a million times. I'm not really a purple eyeshadow person but um, this one's really pretty. There's something about purple eyeshadow, you guys. I love it and it is so pretty, but it just makes me look like an actual crazy person. Lord have mercy, that green is chunky as hell. Oh my God, I just, you guys, what? I literally just did that like one time. God, I can't get over that look. I mean, it swatches pretty, but look at the chalk. This was like back in the day when there were no names on the uh, shadow color. Wow, we are not focusing. I'm using this color. That was so weird. That color was so chalky. So tell me, what have you guys been up to? Are you excited for fall? Do you have fall plans? Are you sad that summer's over? Okay, for me personally, I've been working on so many Halloween videos. I'm really, really excited. Um, last year totally flopped. That was my fault. One hundo. I did not prepare for my Halloween series the way I should have. And I was so upset with myself 
You guys have no idea. I was like literally just sitting around my house crying because I felt like such a failure. This year I was like, I'm either not doing it at all or I'm not gonna be a failure this year. So this year I am doing Halloween videos and I'm not gonna be a failure. So buckle up buttercup. I've got a lot of stuff coming your way. Also, I'm working on a really exciting project, which I, I can't tell you guys yet. So I'm hoping to be able to tell you guys more about my project, maybe early October. That's my hope. Um, whether that happens or not, I don't know. That also depends on some other people and how quickly we're able to get some things going. But, uh, exciting stuff. Who else is getting like a million and a half spam calls a day? I'm so over it. These robo callers are freaking ruthless. Yesterday, Brock got like nine calls. I'm not even kidding. How is that not illegal? Like to just bother people all day. Where are the days of take me off your call list? And they actually would do it. Who remembers that? Did anybody's parents ever be like, I'm just gonna pick up the phone and tell them to take me off my call list. My dad used to do that all the time. Whether or not that worked or not, I don't know. Now I'm gonna just like wet down this flat brush. We are going to go into this gold color here. Pick up some of that. Okay, tell me why my eyes are looking totally different. Oh my God, she's snoring now, do you hear that? Hmm. This eye is looking more metallic-y. I'm going to take this brush and kind of like feather around the edges here. I think I'm going to do this color and kind of put it on top. Oh yeah, that'll work. This, where are we at? This, no, no, this one. This darker color. And just kind of poke that on the outer corner just so that we don't lose that kind of cherry color. And just kind of take that really carefully. We don't want to go too far and lose our gold in that other color we just put down. I can't resist. This is sitting right here. And this is kind of, I mean, not like truly a throwback, but I feel like I don't see as many people talking about this as much anymore. These Stila um, Magnificent Lip Metal or Glitter and Glow. I feel like this just always takes your look to like the next level of stunning. Next, we're going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. This is without a doubt past its prime, and I'm just really hoping I don't get an eye infection <laughs> from using this. I wish I could say I was kidding, but I'm kind of not. Always tried and true. Um, it just does amazing things for your lashes. It makes them look so... Like, hello, I'm here. Oh, of course. Let's do some stuff to the face now. You guys voted on the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer which I have not dug out for a long time. So I'm excited to try this again. Why does this smell like coffee? I remember this used to smell like coconuts. It's not bad, but I also am like, ooh, I don't know about coffee scented makeup. This is a great color. It's not too like orangey. Is it just me or does this have a little bit of a shine to it though? So I feel like you can really see like the fine lines on my forehead right now. You couldn't necessarily see that a second ago. I'm gonna use my dirty freaking Morphe sponge. You guys also voted on the MAC Melba blush. You guys have great taste because I feel like this whole look just looks really good and this blush is going to be perfect. A little blush on my nose. Because why not? I don't know, some people hate this. I think it looks so cute. I love it. And then I also like to put a little bit right here because it just kind of looks like you're sun... What the hell is this? Fuzzy. It just kind of makes it look like you're sun-kissed. I don't let this bake for a long time. I'm already over it. I'm done. We're chiseled. That's all I needed. Thank you so much. You can clock out now. For highlighter, you guys wanted me to use Becca Champagne Pop and I am low-key nervous that this is going to ruin the whole look and I'll tell you why. <laughs> This is broken for one and for two I tried to fix it myself and it just feels a lot more powdery than it ever used to feel so I'm hoping this doesn't mess everything up. Does anybody else feel like every Becca highlighter you've ever owned has broken? 
because same. I don't know what it is about their formula and their formula is great. It looks stunning, but like, man, they just break so easily. Tell me why I can never get this right in the center of my nose and I always end up looking like a crooked weirdo. Maybe it's because my nose is crooked. I'm gonna just set this. This is an old, I mean, I haven't opened it. I like recently opened this. This is their old packaging. Um, I am just going to do a new lip. I feel like it's gonna look really good with this look. Um, I'm gonna use the Curvy ColourPop Lip Pencil and just line these puppies up. Oh, uh, you guys, sometimes I can do this really well. Other times my lips look like this. <laughs> Your favorite beauty guru has arrived, Bozo the Clown. What a poor performance that was. I needed to just sharpen the lip liner. For the liquid lipstick, I'm gonna go over this with the Jeffree Star Celebrity Ski, or no, I'm sorry, <laughs> this is Mannequin. This is like honestly one of my favorite new liquid lipsticks, other than the Anastasia uh, Pure Hollywood. This one and that one, Lord have mercy. So good. What even is this? Like, what is this? It's like a hot dog is on my top lip. Apparently I don't know how to draw a cupid's bow anymore. This is why they tell us to color inside the lines. All right, you guys, we have a look. Minus the lips. I'm not feeling the lips. I don't know what I did. It just doesn't look right. But outside of that, I am kind of loving this look. The eyes turned out so great. Um, it was really fun, oh, Lord, I'm a hot mess today. It was really fun to dig into an old palette and kind of create a new look with an old palette. Still say this is worth it. I don't know if they still sell this or like what the situation is, but um, I think this is a really pretty palette, especially for fall. You can, okay, okay. You can't tell me that doesn't look green. It looked so brown when I swatched it. That's so weird. Overall, I still think I really, really like everything. The only thing that was different um, was my highlighter and I got that to work by using a little setting spray in my finger The only reason that wasn't working right is just because I had broken and tried to fix it and it just didn't work So the formula was kind of all Different I want to challenge you guys to dig through your collection and find you something that you haven't used in a really long time Have a little creative moment for yourself. Also, this was kind of my first fall look of the year, which is if you want to see more videos like this of me kind of like digging through my collection and finding a full face or a handful of products at least that I haven't used in a while, let me know if you enjoy this kind of video and also let me know in the comments down below what products you want me to use. Even if it's not something I have, but something that's still available for purchase, I could still purchase a new palette that is an older release and give it a try. So let me know what you guys think about that. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching and spending a part of your day with me and I will see you guys in my next one.